just got into Emerson. Oh, they just like, got into Emerson? Oh my god, you were so lucky that you got into Emerson. This is literally the best school. We're making this because we want you to come here. We want you to have the experience that, that we've had. To show you guys how excited you should be to have gotten into Emerson, how excited you should be to come to Emerson next year, and all the excellent things you have to look forward to when you're here on campus next year. It's such a tight-knit place, basically, and we want you to come here and experience that. In all honesty, the most exciting thing about Emerson is being at Emerson. My name is Cheris Talcott, um, and I chose Emerson College because I was really attracted to the activities that people were involved in creatively and academically. I've always been someone who's been wanting to express myself in a variety of ways, whether it be you know, drawing, whether it be public speaking, acting, making a film, making a video. So I feel like Emerson tries to approach creativity from all those different angles. Emerson College takes a lot of pride in the professional facilities that we have here. But in addition to that, we have great staff. I think the faculty and staff at Emerson they're all professionals in whatever field they're teaching you. My favorite professor was last semester. He was teaching us like every bad pitch he's had with like Discovery Channel and Bravo and things and what he did wrong. So most of them have done it before and have had the experience. And so they're giving us their own life experiences and lessons. I'm Jacqueline Tiongson. I'm a sophomore broadcast journalism major. I took a class with Carol Simpson and she was the first African-American woman on ABC News. After talking to her and um, kind of forming a relationship with her, she was able to help me find a contact with a network in LA. And through that, I'm kind of hoping to get an internship with them this summer. So they're just really wanting you to succeed. The people and the facilities that you have access to, where else are you gonna find that? The Emerson Channel is a microcosm of Emerson because people are motivated to do interesting creative things. The Emerson Channel definitely exemplifies the values uh, of the Emerson community. Professionalism is really important. I think you can see that in our product. My name is Tom O'Keefe. Uh, I have Boston Tweet, and we're just finished wrapping up filming Good Morning at Emerson. And one thing I was thinking when I was actually sitting here is how impressed I was. Everyone here is a student. We have all this original program that's going on the air that's all done by students. If you have the opportunity, go to our website, emersonchannel.org, and look at all of our programming. I think right now, we have something around 10 original shows that we're producing. I'm Drew Van Steenbergen. I am uh, one of the co-creators and executive producers of the first single camera narrative show at the Emerson Channel, but I also work employed as the Emerson Channel as a visual branding coordinator. I am Roger Olette. Uh, I'm a writing for film and television major. When I first got here, I didn't know what it was like to make an entire single cam narrative and what went into that and the technical aspects and the production aspect of that. He was the one who really kind of introduced me to that, to that process and then we both kind of worked together, would stay up for hours in the Emerson Channel office um, editing the scripts, editing the stories. It's kind of like we both were kind of teaching each other in certain aspects of, of our own show. I'm Talia Sawyer. I'm a senior studio television production major. Emerson Channel is a extremely professional environment. Although we do laugh a lot and we do have a really good time doing what we do, um, when it comes down to it, we get it done. I'm Marcus Brown. I chose specifically Emerson because you were instantly hands-on with all the equipment and you got working on what you wanted to do instantly. I think the Emerson Channel really helps kids sort of focus their attention on what it's like to really be out there in the real world. I'm Terry Stackhouse. I'm a junior broadcast journalism major here at Emerson. This semester I had the privilege of interning at the Boston Herald working for the video department. I'm Cassidy Quinn Brittler and spring semester I took the semester off from Emerson and went and reported at the Olympics and volunteered for the Olympic News Service. The style of video package that they wanted to go on that website was almost exactly what I had been doing right here at the Emerson Channel. Emerson prepared me for reporting at the Olympics by teaching me that the fundamental thing about being a journalist is to get the right story. It's all really just outstanding preparation for uh, 
what you want to do for the rest of your life. Even if you're not totally sure what you want to do, that's how a lot of people come in. Even though we're very specialized, there's so many opportunities to explore. My name is Neil McNeil. I'm from upstate New York. During orientation, you're going to be given so many opportunities to meet new people. I'm Elijah Clark Ginsberg. I'm a freshman marketing communications major from Portland, Oregon. And when you step out of your car uh, during orientation, like you're just met full on with all these screaming orientation leaders. Um, it's just great to know that you're um, joining a community that's so excited about the school. Definitely a huge presence when you first arrive is Fast Forward Rewind and Backyard Boston. And those shows are programs that we produce here during your orientation week. It's really an integral part of the orientation experience is having the Emerson Channel, Backyard Boston, Fast Forward Rewind. It informs you as well as includes you in the Emerson experience. Backyard Boston is giving you an introduction to the city that you are now calling home. I'm Eric Goldrich and welcome to Backyard Boston, the student's guide to the fine city of Boston. Right now I'm standing on Newbury Street, one of the most expensive streets in the world. And my personal guilty pleasure. Hey guys, Dean Dimitrik here for City Speaks and I am currently outside of Fenway Park. Now why would I be outside of Fenway Park, you ask? Because it's awesome! That's because it's awesome! Boston has a lot of history. So instead of reading a textbook and boring yourself, go out and visit the places where it actually happened. And Fast Forward Rewind takes you through your orientation week. I'm Dean Dimitri. And I'm Irina Zofchak, and you're watching Fast Forward Rewind. The show that fast forwards, giving you tips about your new life in the city of Boston, and then rewinds for a recap of today's orientation event. Hey guys, I'm Kelsey Osborne here on day two of orientation. And I'm OL Joe. But that is all the time we have for our final episode of Fast Forward Rewind. It was a fun ride. Yep. And you'll be seeing Irina and I, as well as the rest of the Fast Forward Rewind crew, all around throughout the year on other shows right here on the Emerson Channel. So we hope that you take the time to tune in for those if you are here during orientation week and just get a feel for what the city and your school has to offer because we want to show you that. How's everything going in here? It's going pretty well. Okay, good. good. Oh, I did. You know what they do? The comedy studio, Cambridge. And ready, and one, take. I'm Emily Tannenbaum. I'm a freshman broadcast journalism major. We are always looking to train new people. We are always looking to bring that sort of mentality to a new generation. We're setting up for our first episode, and it's kind of crazy. Two minutes until rehearsal. We all love freshmen at Emerson because. You guys are all so excited to get here and so excited to try new things and just get involved with everything. What you should be most excited about is that everyone is here to teach you. Students teaching students is what's allowing everyone to grow. So when you come to Emerson, it's not that hard to be part of the community. All you really need to do is just get out there. Start talking to people, tell them what you're interested in, just let people know that you want to be engaged and they will engage you. My name is Katie Bryant. I'm a senior television production major here at Emerson. I'm actually a transfer student, and so um, I came to Emerson at the start of my sophomore year. When I transferred, Drew got me started uh, right away at the Emerson Channel. It's a place where there's so many opportunities, things to do, whatever you want to do, it's here. In about a year, um, I, I, I've come so far, and it's really due to the Emerson Channel and the people that are involved with the Emerson Channel giving me those opportunities. At Emerson, I think there's just tons more things that you can do. There's more opportunities. All the students need each other. Every major here really does need the others to really bring out the best of what they can do. And I'm able to experience being an athlete and being, you know, a TV kid. There's actually a lot of overlap in between. There's people that work with me on the Emerson channel or EIV, everything else, that also are in my sorority with me. You know, I'm the senior producer of Limes in a sports talk show on the Emerson channel. And I do that because I am, the, I am an athlete. Yep. For us to practice, I'm going to shower, going straight to the office, 
where I gotta finish some stuff for my show Lions then. And we're gonna take you inside a set of the Lions. Let's go. Really cool. We're live right now. This is crazy. And it's two different worlds, and it's the best experience. We all care about each other, and we all care about our final projects. And to be able to play a sport with them is, is fantastic. Having these two families, you know, allows me to, to, to be myself. It's actually what I love to do, and I would not give this up for the world. Yo, guys, that was really good. That's a wrap. So thank you. The enthusiasm is where it starts. The idea is where it starts. Um, and as long as you have that, um, there's really no limit to what you can do here. I say to myself a lot, thank God Emerson exists, because I'm not sure where else I would have gone to get a similar college experience. I really don't. Where would I be without Emerson? Hmm. Good question. Emerson has really allowed me to explore who I am and what I want to do with my life. It's given me opportunities to try different things. I don't know what I want to do. I wouldn't be the person that I am today because it has taught me so many things about myself and how to be the most that I could possibly be. And I love the person that I've become being at Emerson. I don't know where I want to end up in 10 years. I don't know where I'm going to be ending up in 10 years. And that scares me. That actually scares me. But I know what I'm doing now, and I love what I'm doing now. You will be happy. You are going to love the people you work with. Uh, you're going to love your friends. And it's just going to be, you know, the greatest four years of your life. But I can say with confidence that accepting Emerson and coming to Emerson was the right choice for me. We want you to feel like this is your home. This Emerson magic, this one thing where you can't really put your finger on it, but you can always feel it. It's like this presence, this, I can't even describe it to you. You just gotta know that it's there and trust me because I've experienced it. I just wanna give you guys a, such a huge congratulations for getting into Emerson. And I truly, truly, truly congratulate you on being accepted. This is a great place. I wouldn't change it for the world. I would love to see your face walking around on campus. Congratulations, I'm so excited that you've been accepted to Emerson College. And you're gonna love it here. You are going to make a difference on this campus and it starts the second you get here. The things you will do at Emerson and the people you will meet here are gonna change your life forever. Welcome to the family. <laughs> Speed it up, wrap it up, wrap it up, commercial break, stretch. Is it always a good time? It is always a good time at the Emerson Channel.